In this video, let us solve more problems based on basic proportionality theorem. So here we've got the question, which reads like this in the figure. If EF is parallel to DC, and if DC is parallel to AB, prove that AE over ED equals BF over FC. Now what's given is this one. If EF is parallel to DC, and that is parallel to AB, we need to prove that AE by ED equals BF by FC. So what do we have to prove is, we need to prove that AE by ED equals BF by FC. So this is what we have to prove, right? So now to prove this, we definitely have to do a construction here. So that is nothing but join, extend, produce DA and CB. Such that it meets at a point P, let's say it's a point P, you can take it whatever you want. So, what we're doing is we're making it a triangle. You know, we are in the basic proportionality theorem, and that is all about, you know, that involves a triangle. So, we need a triangle. So, now that we've done the construction and we know what we have to prove, so let's straight away go to the proof. Once you're into the proof, let's consider the triangle PEF. Let us consider the triangle PEF. Now, in the triangle PEF, we can clearly say that AB is parallel to EF. So, we've got AB parallel to EF. Now, once a side is parallel to another line that cuts the other two sides of the triangle, then we are, you know that we are talking about the basic proportionality theorem. So, in that case, what happens is, we can straight away establish that PA by AE, PA by AE equals PB by BF, right? Now, this is, comes from the basic proportionality theorem. I'll just abbreviate it as BBT. So, now, the next step is, we've got PA by AE. Let's add 1 to this. Now, if you're adding 1 to one side of the equation, you also need to add 1 to the other side of the equation. So, we've got PB by BF. Now, add 1 to this as well. So, now, once you add 1, you've got, the reason I'm doing all these things, you'll know it. PA plus AE by AE equals PB plus BF by BF. So, now, what is PA by AE? PA by AE is nothing but PE, right? So let's write that. Let me draw a line here. So it becomes PE by AE equals what is PB by BF? That is nothing but PF. So it becomes PF by BF. So let us consider this as, you know, equation one. So now what let's do is let's consider an, another triangle in this figure. So let's take the triangle PDC. Let's take the triangle PDC. So in PDC, we've also got the data that EF is parallel to DC. So we can clearly say that EF is parallel to DC from the question. And as a result of this, we can easily establish that PE by ED equals PF by FC. Again, this is this comes from the basic proportionality theorem. I'm abbreviating it as BPT. So now let's take this as equation 2. Now what we have to do is dividing equation 1 by equation 2. So dividing equation 1 by equation 2, we get PE by AE by PE by ED equals PF by BF by pf by fc now a fraction by a fraction is nothing but the denominator will come to the numerator and it will relate itself to the numerator in the form of multiplication after it's reciprocated so pe by ae multiplied by ed by pe i'm sure you know this concept already but for those who don't know well this is it so pf by bf multiplied by fc by pf so now we've got pe pe getting cancelled and pf pf getting cancelled as a result of which we have ED by AE equals FC by BF. 
So now a simple cross multiplication, just push this here, push this here and the other way around. So we have AE by ED equals BF by FC. So hence we proved. So this is what we've got here. Right? AE by ED equals BF by FC. As far as using a method, it's nothing but you need to use the concept of basic proportionality theorem. But otherwise, it's simply manipulating few things. You just have to add one like this. Why do you have to add one to this? Because only then this is going to be reciprocated as, or in fact, we're going to get PE. You know, you need to combine PA and AE. That's when you're going to get PE. And when you combine PB and BF, you're going to get PF. Only when you get PE and PF are you going to, you know, use it to get cancelled with these data that we've got from the triangle PDC. So that's exactly what it is. So otherwise, it's it's purely based on basic proportionality theorem. Every step that we've done depended on basic proportionality theorem. Only because of basic proportionality theorem, we could establish these fractions. PA by A equals PB by BF. And only because of basic proportionality theorem, we could establish the fact that PE by ED equals PF by FC. So only when you establish these facts, can we divide these and, you know, arrive at this equation, which is what we have to prove. So this is it. So let's quickly solve another problem. So here we've got another question which reads like this. In the figure EF is parallel to AB and AB in turn is parallel to DA, uh, DC. We need to prove that AE by ED equals BF by FC. It is the same expression as the last problem. But anyways, it's not the same problem itself. It's just the notations that are same. So the concept is going to be completely different. And it is also going to be a little easier than the previous one. Or at least not as many steps as that one. Let's see how. Now what we've got is we've got EF parallel to AB parallel to DC. Now because of this we can establish that since the whole line EF is parallel to DC we can also say that just EP is also parallel to DC. Right? So let's write EP parallel to DC. EP is parallel to DC. So now let us consider the triangle. The trick here is to you know make everything into triangles as, as long as you deal with basic proportionality theorem. The last problem was not a triangle. We constructed and we made it a triangle. This problem is not primarily a triangle, but then if you use this line AC, we can see it as two triangles, right? ADC and ABC. So that's the trick. So now let's consider the triangle ADC. Now, since we've established the fact that EP is parallel to DC, we can say that AE by ED, AE by ED equals AP by PC. Now, of course, this comes from the basic proportionality theorem by BPT, basic proportionality theorem. Because we know that if a line is parallel to the other side of a triangle, then a line intersecting the other two sides of the triangle does so in constant ratio. So, so this is what that is. That is what is basic proportionality theorem. Now, again, we've got EF parallel to AB parallel to DC. Now, how do we use this data? We use this data to say that if EF is parallel to AB, then PF is also parallel to AB. So let's establish that PF is parallel to AB. So if PF is parallel to AB, then in the triangle CAB, now consider the triangle CAB. In, in triangle CAB, we've got BF by FC equals AP by PC. So again, this is as a result of or because of basic proportionality theorem by BPT, right? So let us consider this as equation 1 and let's consider this as equation 2. If you look closely at equation 1 and equation 2, we've got AP by PC in both the equations and both of them are equal to AE by ED and BF by FC. So if AP by PC is equal to AE by ED and if it is also equal to BF by FC, then definitely AE by ED is equal to BF by FC, right? So we've got AE by ED equal to BF by FC. So here we've got, so this is what we wanted and we've got that in pretty much less than, you know, six steps, maybe four steps. We just had to use so much because it's pretty simple. The whole concept is in looking at anything that is given to you in terms of triangle as far as basic proportionality theorem is concerned. You have to look at it in terms of triangles and you need to look at it in terms of parallel lines inside the triangles. And once you've got the parallel lines like EP parallel to DC 
are P of parallel to AB, then you're on your way because you can establish these ratios as a result of basic proportionality theorem. And then that's all. You just have to manipulate a little and then come to what do we have, whatever we have to prove. So this is it. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on basic proportionality theorem.